Hey guys, it's Jack Punkington here, and uh, originally, today's video was actually going to be about that pedal that I did the unboxing for, but then this popped up for sale. Everybody meet Lester. Lester is a 1993 Epiphone Les Paul Standard that's been heavily reliced. It's in a, uh, originally it was a Heritage Charity Burst, um, has a little bit of a flame to it. And this guitar has been used and abused. Um, whoa. Made in Korea Epiphone. Um, this is the back of this bad boy. If you guys can see that. Repaired headstock, um, and the, I mean it's it's actually it's a really nice playing guitar. It's really light for a Les Paul, so it leads me to believe that this might be like maybe chambered. I don't know. I don't know a lot about '90s Epiphones, um, but I mean compared to like my Gibson, it's it's lighter. I mean. This is my fiance's Epiphone standard, and it's lighter than this. But that one was made in. Whoa. Um, sorry. That one was made in um, Korea in the 2000s, so there's a, a difference there. But yeah. Um, a friend of mine had this posted on Facebook. For 120 bucks, because of the repair and the the relicking um, or trade, so I traded him the neck that was on my Telecaster, which was a made in Mexico Fender neck, but it wasn't a Fender Telecaster. He threw in this. It's supposed to be from a Charvel, I think, or a Schecter, but it has a Fender decal on it neck, which this actually is like a right Fender style headstock. And so that's going to go perfectly on the Telecaster. The neck fits great. So I, I have a replacement neck. But yeah, I saw this and I instantly fell in love because of how beat up it is. I hope it shows up pretty well on camera. But this thing is beat and it, it plays really well. It, I have to do like a full setup. I got to change the strings and stuff. I'm going to swap out the tuners. It just has like generic Klusen style. I've got some locking tuners I'm going to put on. I might replace all the pots. I think there are mini pots, so I might replace them all with CTS pots, like full ones. And I'm thinking about getting like hot pink invaders. So let me just. Uh... <laughs>
fast. Yeah, it's pretty bad already. But, I mean, for... For a fun project that, I mean, literally was just... It literally didn't cost me anything because I got a neck back on top of it. Yeah, it definitely needs a setup. But I mean, it's so cool. It's got a lot of a lot of mojo for sure. Um, I'm gonna try. It. I'm gonna take it off so we can kind of show it off a little bit more in the light. So, the neck um, is really, really rugged. I'm just going to take the rest of the finish off, and I'm going to try and... He used epoxy, which, I mean, it did the job. It's nice and sturdy. So, I'm just going to try to clean it up as much as I can. It, this is not a guitar that's like, I'm going to clean it up and sell it. No, this is a, I got this in a trade, and it's going to be a fun project to make absolutely weird and like um, like obnoxious like I might put stickers on it or something I don't know <laughs> I mean like literally he carved into it with a screwdriver in the back so I it, it definitely needs work but it, it's got a lot of cool mojo I like I don't like hair to cherry I don't I might have already said that um, but I like the way that this is relic and like it's almost like its own finish now. So, yeah, I, I wanted to show this off to you guys. I was really happy that I got my hands on this. So, anyway, guys, I appreciate you swinging by. Hope you guys have a great day. Jack Punkington signing out. Peace.